the Georgia legislature has only fully funded public schools twice in the last 19 years. Every year, a law called the Quality Basic Education Act determines how much the state must pay so that schools can provide an adequate public education. In the spring of 2002, the state legislature passed a budget that did not fully meet the amount required and underpaid the state school system by $135 million. This failure would continue for the next 15 years straight, at one point ballooning to over 10 times that original debt. After lowering the amount owed by changing the law, the state met its basic obligation in 2018 and 19 before cutting school funding once again for the current year. In total, the state of Georgia has cut $10.2 billion from public schools since 2003. That's enough money to buy the Atlanta Falcons, Braves, Hawks, and United, and still have three and a half billion left over. The state of Georgia has cut enough money from public schools over the last 19 years that it's equal to $6,000 for every single public school student in Georgia today. Students going to school during the COVID-19 pandemic are doing so under budget cuts of 950 million for the 2020-2021 school year. That's nearly a billion dollars that could pay for additional teachers or hand sanitizer or high-speed internet for the community. What seems like an arbitrary number actually translates to larger class sizes, fewer electives for students, and buses that can't start. Over the last 19 years, the Georgia legislature has handed out billions of dollars in tax breaks without sufficient review to see if the money is actually helping Georgians. While other states have raised revenues by increasing fees on tobacco, Georgia has been left behind and cut school budgets instead. While our public schools fired teachers and cut music programs, the legislature passed a voucher to funnel millions to private schools. These are choices the state has made. This year, Georgia lawmakers can choose to fully invest in public education by raising revenue with common sense policy solutions. To learn more, visit gbpi.org.